Yeah, What's up, y'all? <laughs> we're back for another episode of the O'Reilly Show. And on the O'Reilly Show, we're going to bring you content directly from us student athletes. You're going to be able to engage with us using the comment section below. Make sure to follow TPL Tennessee on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, all those things so you never miss an episode from us mm -hmm. and some of the other athletes on the other shows. Indeed. Today we have one of our best friends for the past four years, Mikkel. Yes! yes. Mikkel yes. is on the track and field team. And mm -hmm. then tell them a little about where you're from, what brought you to Tennessee, just the gist of who you are. Yeah. Thank you for having me on. Mm. They, I have been wanting to be on this podcast yeah, for so long. Oh, really? <laughs> I'm just now getting on here. But that's okay. I'm still so excited. Um, yeah, I'm Mikkel Vickers. I'm a senior. I'm from Nashville, Tennessee. I'm on the track team. I'm a jumper, long and triple jumper. And um, I don't know, I'm majoring in psychology, yes. minoring in leadership studies. Yes. Mm. Yeah. So we all are in spring, or we're in spring sports, yeah. kind of, not you, spring you're spring ball. ball. So we're all, this is like a spring sports yeah. episode. Yeah. But me and O, I've known Mikkel since freshman year, mm. I want to say. How long have you known Mikkel? Before, mm. before UT? I feel like uh, I knew a little bit before Vol Leaders. Okay, yeah. maybe that sophomore year vol leaders. Yeah. We were all in vol leaders mm, together, yeah. Yeah. and we all went to Rwanda. How mm. was your experience? Because we've talked about it before. Life changing would go back in a heartbeat. Yes. How was yours? Mine was so good. Literally, life changing would go back in a heartbeat. <laughs> like I feel like it was just there were no problems. Like no, we all just, clicked so well. It was just good no group. judgment. Good yes, group. the group. Yeah. The group. I'm telling and you. And we've had group. so many people from that trip come on. Like Jabari was on the show. Yeah. There's been other people, but I'm yeah, blanking. Thanks. But Jabari was on the show. Now you're here. Yeah. We also are involved with Voice Together. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what Voice is, it's a group of black student athletes, and it stands for Volunteers Overcoming, Illuminating, Changing, and what empowering. Empowering. <laughs> I, I skipped the mm -hmm. I skipped the mm -hmm. I. It's okay. But um, yeah, we all are involved in Voice, and it just brings together black and brown student athletes for a safe space to interact with each other. And then also we host events that bring allies to get educated about some of the things that we've gone through or some of the things that other athletes before us have gone through. So we also get to share that. Yeah. And then to hype Mikkel up even more, Indeed. she is our SAC president, uh. co-president. <laughs> yeah, she's wearing the SAC, the SAC Shout shirt. Out SAC. Shout yeah. out SAC. And what, what is SAC? Uh. The Student Athlete Advisory Committee. And what, oh, do, nice. what do we do? Um, you know, we just, we have, we put on events for our students, you, you know, <laughs> Really just uplifting the teams, keeping everybody mm -hmm. on the teams engaged with each other. We mm -hmm. have unity games, mm -hmm. different things like that. Really just, you know, making that Vol family. Yes, yes, that's yes. awesome. We're the liaison between our teams and, like, the NCAA. Yeah. So sometimes we get to vote on, like, laws and stuff that go yeah. into effect in the NCAA. Facts. So some pretty... Pretty cool times, cool. yeah, and yeah. yeah, we've done a lot together. Yeah, yeah for real. I love this. For We're real. very involved. Yeah, yeah, we are very, very involved. involved. Yeah, mm -hmm. president here. Wow, mm -hmm. I love it. Yeah. So the sports world has been kind of chaotic. Obviously, mm -hmm. that transition between the spring from the winter sports. So we just finished up with March Madness. So let's talk a little bit about that. Did you just watch the national championship games? Yes. Yes. So I tapped out last night the Purdue and UConn was too late mm -hmm. and Zach Eady and Purdue beat us so it was kind of bothering me to Facts. watch them play mm -hmm. but congrats to UConn yeah. Yeah. did you guys know it was the first time in the final four that they had two teams men and women like NC State had men and women's mm -hmm. in the final yeah. four and UConn had men and women's mm -hmm. yeah I didn't, I didn't know, know that was the first time. no that yeah. was the first time and it was pretty cool I didn't even put UConn together I just I definitely knew NC State though yeah I had saw it but did you know UConn men seem like every time they went to a national championship they won they haven't well mm -hmm. how many times have they been they're six and oh in <laughs> national championship games yes. wow and like men and women combined like it was like the women are like 15 and one. Oh my gosh, <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Wow. So women's basketball, I followed March Madness more for women this year yeah, I did than too. ever before. I did too. And I think that's a common theme mm -hmm. within just like athletics right now or mm -hmm. specifically this March Madness. Yeah. So why do you guys think like that their championship game was viewed that much? Like why do you think the women took off this year? Mm -hmm. I personally think it was from, it was, uh, 
like a domino effect of last year because that's what I mean basketball has always been cool to me yeah but like I really started getting into it last year with like Angel Reese and Caitlin yes Clark. yes so I think it was like coming off of that year mm -hmm. people started talking about it more TikTok I've seen so many edits yes, of them like yes yeah I don't know I think it's social media and like last year I don't know it's just it was hype from last year yeah for sure over to this year for sure because everyone wanted double. to watch Angel Reese yeah, like right. come back yeah and do her thing and Caitlin Clark obviously breaking records mm -hmm. so yeah what it was about? like more of a storyline Yes, yeah. for yeah. sure. What else? I say like, I think it's the rivalry. Like, you start to see girls like they going at it. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. They talking mess to each, each other. Like, yeah. It's just it's exciting. Like, it's yeah. real exciting to watch. It yeah. is awesome. It is yeah. exciting. Yeah. I think specifically Angel Reese, like how she's just not afraid to be her. And mm -hmm. I think a lot of times, like, females over time have had to like suppress their emotions yeah. if that makes sense mm -hmm. because people didn't like how it looked mm -hmm. and i'm just so proud of this generation like yeah, angel tough. reese and caitlin clark for like standing up and that you don't really even have to stand up they're just being who they are yeah, yeah. and yeah, it's entertaining yeah, i saw on tiktok is. the other day that was like this generation is so entertaining mm -hmm. with like jared mccain yeah. and caitlin clark and all these players who are doing tiktoks and yeah. just being themselves mm -hmm. like it's entertaining and some people hate it but i love it i yeah. love it i love watching them i really I also like speaking of that saying like TikToks and different things like that like I think NIL helped push women's oh, sports for as well sure. mm -hmm. because like when you get, get into that space women are able to capitalize on who they are so that it allows them to actually show their personality oh, so yeah. it's cool. Okay so March Madness obviously we can talk about the females and the women for days mm -hmm. but some new news on Tennessee's campus is we just got a new women's basketball coach, Kim Caldwell. Indeed. And she's from Marshall, I mm -hmm. believe. Marshall. Mm -hmm. And she was in the complex today. There was security everywhere. Oh, there was I balloons. Know. Like, it was really cool. And what do you guys think about it? Yeah. I think it's tough. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's tough. They've been showing her a bunch of love. Like, I know. I know I saw it was in the football stadium. Like, it yeah. was in kneeling, a kneeling on the board. Oh, yeah, like, for sure. I'm like, okay, they yeah. showing her love. So it's good to see. Like, yeah. It's yeah. good to see. I know I the coaches agree. like met with her and they're like, yeah. welcome to the family. But it's just, it's different because they have had coaches previously who played for Pat Summit. And obviously, mm -hmm. Pat Summit's legacy is trailblazing. Mm -hmm. And so there's been kind of some like controversy about how she didn't play for Pat Summit. Right. But I also think that it probably is really difficult for players who have played for Pat Summit to like hold that weight mm -hmm. of knowing who Pat Summit was and yeah. living up to that expectation. So it kind of brings like a new a new look to yeah, it. Yeah. And like she's going to honor Pat Summit mm -hmm. w in everything she does and she knows. But yeah. I just think yeah. it's a new look and it's cool. And yeah. I'm excited to see her. Yeah, Me real. too. I want to meet her. Yeah, I like, do too. I'm coming like, I feel like she's famous. I, I, know, like, exactly. <laughs> I feel like she's famous. Exactly. Like, like, if I saw her, I'd be like, Coach, no, come, hey, coach, coach. I'm come, on. <laughs> come on the show. Come on the no, show. Come on the show. But yeah. no, she sounds really confident and like mm -hmm. I love that I just yeah. love that and like Kelly Harper was a great coach too but yeah, yeah it's just a new new look yeah. new look, new look. Yeah. Yeah. and I'm excited for the girls like mm -hmm. I'm I'm friends with Tess and Sarah yeah, and all of them and Jill and they have a show if you haven't seen it as yeah, well facts. but I'm excited for them and just a lot of them are upperclassmen I know Tess mm -hmm. she was in Vol Leaders with yeah. us and just to have a new look for mm -hmm. her senior year or her fifth year if she's yeah. coming back and yeah. all that fun stuff I'm excited for them yeah, yeah too. should be cool Okay, so enough about basketball. We love basketball. Congrats to the new coach. Mm -hmm. But we have spring sports right here. Mm -hmm. And Indeed. it's springtime anyways. Basketball season's over. <laughs> so, Amari, we'll start with you. Okay. Spring game. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's just funny you call me Amari. Amari. <laughs> you just never say okay. Amari. So, spring game this weekend. Mm -hmm. Orange and white scrimmage. I see a lot of pub for it, obviously. It's the game of the, game of the semester. Mm-hmm. How is it going? How's the practices leading up? Are um, they getting tougher? You know, it's been pretty good. Like, I will say they have been kind of tough. Like, mm -hmm. we hit a stretch, like, in that middle period where you go full pads a lot of those days. Ooh. Full pads is kind of taxing on the legs. So, <laughs> it's just like, man. But, you know, we got over the hump yeah. for spring. But it, it's been good practices, though. Like, mm -hmm. every day we go out there, it's been fun. Like, people actually going out there, like I said, crafting. Yeah. Just trying to get better, working new stuff, see what they like. So, yeah. it's been cool. Cool. And then, so, like, how does this week lead up? So, it's game week. Mm -hmm. Do you guys treat this week's schedule as, like, a normal fall 
game week or does it look different because you know you're only preparing for one game? Yeah, it's um, so the back end closest to the game, it get like a game week. Okay. Like, so we practice today. Okay. Monday, what's today? Tuesday, Tuesday. right? Yeah, <laughs> okay. Monday we was off. Okay. Tuesday we practice. Wednesday we'll be off. Thursday we'll practice. Friday will be a fast Friday. Okay. So, like, won't no pads, no no cleats. Mm-hmm. Like, you just out there just quick, go through the plays, make sure you everywhere. Yeah. And then you're done. The game, Saturday we have pregame meal, like, meetings, like a build-up. Okay. It's a vol walk. Okay. So, like, it's a real game, like, build-up. Yeah. But, like... You sleep in, at your own house. <laughs> that's different for you guys. Yeah, it is. See, that's weird for me because when every time we play home, we sleep in our own bed. Yeah. And I don't do ho- I do not do hotels, so I'm just so thankful that at least half half yeah. my games I'm gonna be sleeping in my own bed. That's oh, y'all true. like that? Yeah, we sleep in a hotel. Every oh, oh yeah, yeah. I was saying like sleeping in your own bed. Yeah, you. You. Don't I feel like I like the feeling of like being in a hotel. I love really? my own bed. Don't get me wrong, but I love like the traveling. It's See, just, yeah, it makes it a little. Feel a little different. And y'all yeah. travel really like all the time. Yeah, we only have one homie. Yeah. So. Okay, so let's talk. I'll, we'll get back oh, into yeah, spring we'll ball. Get back to that. Yeah, we'll get back to that. Yeah. So track. Mm-hmm. Did you already tell them what events you do? Tell them again. I'll tell you again. <laughs> I do long jump and triple jump, mm-hmm. and I came. Well, my roster I think still says sprints and jumps, mm. but I do jumps. Okay. Don't sprint. And then you guys just had your one and only home meet of <laughs> mm-hmm. the year. Indeed. Yeah. And how did it go for you guys? For me personally, not that good. But <laughs> overall, though, it was really good. Like, we had some really, really, like, they were tearing up that track. And then we had our senior day. Um, yeah, how was it? It was really good, like, because, you know, we all came in college after COVID. So yeah. Yeah. being able to, like, have my season, because I didn't get my season in high school. Uh, my yeah. Senior season. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, that'll like, do it. Exactly. That'll do it. Yeah. So being able to have it now and like get recognized and stuff, yeah, it so that good. is cool. That's tough. Yeah, we didn't have. So obviously California was like shut down, mm-hmm. so we didn't get Senior Day. But you were had it in the fall, so you yeah. got your Senior Day. Yeah. So that's nice. Are we? Are you graduating? Is everyone graduating in May? I'm yeah, graduating. May. So we get our first graduation because I didn't have a graduation COVID year. Mm, not at all. At all? It was oh. drive through. Really. Dang. Thing. Yeah. Like, you didn't go one. back? Like, y'all didn't have one? Y'all it was could a drive through graduation. And that was it. We had yeah. a drive through too, but then we had one, like, in the summer. No. Yeah, same. Like, in the summer. But, like, I was already in college. Mm. And then I went uh. back to my graduation, like, in June. Oh, yeah, because you early enrolled. Mm. Nah. No? Because of COVID. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're it right. It just right, got you're moved right. to the June. Speaking of early enrollees, how are the guys who are new to this semester holding up? Because it's that must be a weird, weird transition. Like, mm-hmm. you don't get to transition with everyone else. You don't get to go through graduation yeah. and, like, go through those steps. So how have those guys been fitting in? They've been um, doing real good. I feel like if you early enrolled, it's, like, showing how mature you can be because like i know in high school you have to do so much work mm-hmm. to just to be able to early enroll mm-hmm. so like it just shows that those guys want to be here and like when they get on the field it actually like it shows on the mm-hmm. field it shows on the tape like they just come in like ready to learn obviously nobody perfect we all out there we make mistakes but we tr- striving for to be great so like those guys all came in all the new guys really freshmen yeah. that new enrolled transfers like everybody just looking good like ready to learn just ready to be a good teammate everybody being a real good teammate sure. and it's good to see so i'm happy the new enrollees they're gonna get their first taste of Neyland and the vol walk and mm-hmm. all of that i'm so happy you had your senior day mm-hmm. and i wish i could have been there but we were playing obviously yeah, yeah. No, no, it's no. okay completely fine he was there i was it's there a, he was yeah there for you. i was there, was there. Mm-hmm. but we'll talk a little bit more about <laughs> we'll talk a little bit more about softball and our weekend and fun trivia game coming up next, and then maybe a little bit more football. So stay tuned.